hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is allison if not thank you so much for tuning back in for today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my fragrance collection uh fragrance is something i'm very passionate about i love to watch videos about it i obviously love to collect it now uh, my collection is not as big as like a lot of people's collections here on the internet but i think it's like still something and because i like watching these types of videos i figured i may as well film one for you guys so um, to jump right into the video, I'm actually going to start out with my top 5 favorite winter fragrances. I don't think I have like an absolute favorite from all of these. I don't, I think it's like hard for me to like pick a favorite from like all my fragrances. So I try not to do that, but I'll go ahead and show you guys which ones I like to wear around this time of the year. So, right, so to start with from those 5, uh, one of my favorite ones for the fall and winter is Rose of No Man's Land by Barrito. I absolutely love this fragrance. Um... For me, it smells like a rich person's bathroom, but like my sister actually absolutely hates this. So I think like with a lot of Bayerito fragrances, honestly, I think it's one of those that you have to smell in store. I wouldn't recommend blind buying like most of their fragrances only because there's like one really popular one that I heard somebody completely rave about. And when I smelled it in person, I really did not like it. And I feel like if you're going to spend that much on a fragrance like this one, um, Maybe you should go ahead and smell it first before you buy it. I'm going to make sure to include the notes uh, for this perfume down below in the description box. But I know it will probably be better on the screen. So I'll work hard to do that for you guys. And so. next for the top five for fall and winter. Um, it's going to be Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kirkjean. Now uh, I know like his most popular perfume is Baccarat Rouge. Which we are going to get to that in a second. But this for me is absolutely one of my favorite fragrances for the winter. Um, you can swing wearing this in the summer, like for nighttime, only because I just think it's like a little bit heavy for like daytime wear. But I mean, like if you pay for it, you can wear it. You can wear it whenever you want to wear it. I just think this works better uh, in like colder temperatures. I'm not exactly sure how how it would do with like really hot weather, especially since we live in Texas. But um, I was very surprised that I fell in love with this fragrance because I'm not really big into like oud or rose fragrances and, and that's like some of the top notes in this fragrance and I mean it, it is called oud satin mood but I kind of feel like even if you're not into oud fragrances you may end up liking this but again I also recommend like smelling honestly I have to think if you're going to spend over $150 on a fragrance I recommend smelling it personally because I have made some like very expensive uh, mistakes when it comes to fragrances and I absolutely hate returning fragrances because um, I don't think that they ever like resell them and I don't want to like contribute to waste and stuff and I don't know it's just it's just not my thing yeah that's just my recommendation smell your perfumes before you buy and buy them but yeah I absolutely love this and I honestly think like the projection for this is definitely more than the Baccarat Rouge this I could absolutely just like get away with spraying just one spray and it's going to last forever. You can spray this at 4 p.m. and it's going to smell exactly the same at 8 p.m. Right. And then next on that list uh, for top five, we have um, the popular, I'm sure you guys know what this red bottle is by now. I feel like a lot of people either have it in their collection. Famous Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm sure you guys know like this red bottle even just by looking at it from afar. But a lot of people have this in their collection. If they don't, I feel like a lot of people talk about it. And you see it either in like this red bottle or just like the regular version, which is in like a clear bottle with the gold and red label that's like over here. But anyways, um, I got the extract version. I personally preferred it to like the regular. I've had the regular version before. Um, I just think this one is a little bit more um, complex in my opinion and it's a little bit more bitter which I weirdly preferred like the stronger almond note in this one and I'm not going to go ahead and like say all these notes I do not know them off the top of my head for all of these fragrances but for the ones that do stand out to me I will like mention that for you guys and I know there's like a lot of debate about this perfume like you know some people think it's overrated I personally think it's like worth the money and I feel like I watched like tons of videos on YouTube before I decided to take the plunge for this perfume because it is a little pricey I actually think it's my most expensive perfume in my collection so yeah definitely make sure that you really want this before you get it but again in my opinion I think it's very worth it this one tends to last forever and something I actually noticed about the extract version versus the regular one is that the extract 
does not really smell like that strong once you spray it on it kind of just like gets stronger as like time goes by meanwhile i feel like the projection of the regular baccarat rouge is like you know just loud uh right from the beginning loud isn't probably not the best word but you guys kind of get what i'm talking about like as soon as you spray it on it's just like right there like you're going to smell baccarat rouge but like as for this one i've noticed sometimes i find the scent is even stronger the next day after i spray it on and it gets on my clothes so yeah and also another thing to know about this perfume is that it's very oily so i would be very careful about that because it actually stained one of my white shirts so yeah, keep that in mind if you're thinking of like getting this or you already own it and yeah just don't get it on your white clothes and next i have black opium i feel like everyone and their mom has this perfume and for very good reason right like for me i definitely think it's one of those perfumes that's really hard to hate and i don't think it could be like offensive and it's not like too different to where people are just kind of like uh, put off by it. I love the coffee and vanilla notes in this even though like I'm generally just not a coffee person But just the combination of the two works amazing with this perfume. I absolutely love it uh, This perfume is very nostalgic for me. I think this is actually my fourth bottle I continue to purchase it over the years because I don't know. I just never go wrong with it I just absolutely love it for the winter. I don't feel like doing too much with my perfume That's what I prefer to like pick up especially in the winter, um, but I honestly think like black opium smells like the person that you want to keep hugging in the winter like if you had a friend that like gave amazing advice and also like amazing hugs they're probably wearing this so yeah <laughs> that's what black opium reminds you of and lastly on the top five list i have by the fireplace by maison margella and i absolutely love 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 this fragrance i feel like it was my top worn fragrance for last winter for sure um I remember it like even if I was not going anywhere I loved it so much I would just kind of spray it like in the house or whenever I was going to bed just like lightly because it could be a little bit strong but I remember the first time I ever sprayed this in the store I actually did not like it because to me it kind of smelled like a piece of wood after you just put the fire out like that's what this smelled like but I watched like another video on YouTube and this one girl raved about it and she said that it warmed up beautifully on the, beautifully on the skin and like um, it's basically smelled better over time and I have to attest to that so I went back to Sephora and I tried it a second time and when it finally warmed up to my skin it was an absolutely beautiful like smoky vanilla is how I would describe it and I just really love this like it just makes you feel so warm and cozy yeah. that was by the fireplace and moving on to the rest of my collection I'm not gonna go in like any particular order with the rest of my perfumes I'm just gonna show them to you kind of like you know as they are on here yeah I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and like get out the scents so I like have um, very heavy vanilla and then we'll get into the rest of my perfumes all right so to start with in that category I have vanilla woods by seven virtues and to me this fragrance um, kind of smells like a woody vanilla it's just basically like a sweeter version of like by the fireplace just not as smoky obviously I was never a girl that was like into vanilla scents because I don't know I just didn't want to smell like a cupcake but this is definitely not like cupcake vanilla so yeah if you're into like vanilla scents definitely check this out I absolutely love it I believe this is like the biggest bottle that they carried in and I got this from Sephora and this is the 1.7 fluid ounces I don't think it comes in anything bigger than this but don't quote me next we have another popular vanilla that you see all over YouTube and it is the Kayali vanilla 28 and this perfume is so hard to get um, I remember before they only had it online and I really really wanted it then but again um, I've been scarred by blind buy so I was really scared to just like order it online before smelling it and they recently um, just like started to carry it in store I believe like sometime around September I went in store and they had it and this was actually the last bottle that they had but I smelled the sample and I fell in love like right away and this to me is just so perfect for the winter and also it's an amazing layering fragrance I have layered it with like three of my other perfumes and it's worked beautifully for like all the fragrances that I've layered it with so if you just like want to wear it by itself or just like add a nice touch of sweetness to any of your perfumes this is a perfect perfume to do that with and um, I think this comes in a bigger size, but I'm not exactly sure. This was the last bottle that I had again in store. And this is a 1.7 fluid ounces. 
but I'm not sure if it comes in a bigger size. But yeah, this size actually works for me because I have quite a bit of perfume in my collection right now and I'm not a heavy sprayer so I want to like try and like get through most of my perfumes before buying like big bottles for all of them so yeah. Alright, and then next for my vanilla perfumes, this is Eau Joelle by Diptyque. Um, the best way to describe this fragrance is like a bitter vanilla. And I remember when I read somebody describe it as that, I was very confused because like bitter and vanilla is just not like two words that you'd really find in this sentence. But, but like once you smell this perfume, those two words like make sense together. Yeah, so it's definitely not like a cupcake vanilla. Honestly, I feel like the best way that I can describe this perfume is like a floral vanilla not really like a smoky like by the fireplace in vanilla woods but definitely like a vanilla that's mixed in with some sort of flower and i'm pretty sure it does have florals in the notes if i'm not mistaken so yeah that's diptyque eau de well and then just kind of following along with like all of my sweet fragrances the next fragrance i'm going to be showing you guys is flower balm nectar um, by I used to wear the original Flower Balm for years. I actually think it was like my first big girl perfume that I ever bought for myself was Flower Balm when I started working. But um, I worn that for years and I wanted to try something different. I tried, um, I think it's Flower Balm Midnight, but it's the one in the black bottle. I absolutely love that scent. It just did not last at all. Like you spray it on and an hour later, you're the only one that can smell it. And I just really think for the price that wasn't justified. I would have expected it to last a little bit longer, especially since it was like an eau de parfum. So um, yeah, I tried this Flower Bomb Nectar and I really like it. It does stay for a while. Um, I definitely would not overspray this because like for me, I find that it could get like sickeningly sweet. But perfume works differently for different people and also I am prone to migraines. So, you know, my opinion might be different from yours. But I wore it quite a bit in the winter last year, but I don't think I've even picked this up this year. I'm just gonna spray like a little bit because I like what it smells like, especially mixed with like diptyque because this is like very sweet and the diptyque is like a bitter vanilla. So, yeah. All right, and then next I have C by Georgia Armani. This is also like my fourth bottle of C ever. It was actually my second big girl perfume that I ever bought. So it is a very sentimental fragrance to me. It reminds me of when I'm starting to get my own little coin. I, mean, I definitely think it's like signature scent worthy it's one of the scents that you can wear every day i honestly think it's also one of the scents that you wear to work if you're not over spraying it it's not generally like an offensive scent i don't think anybody would really find this offensive i've heard some people describe it as like very sweet personally i don't think c is like very sweet even though i can kind of see why somebody would say that but it's definitely not like an overly sweet fragrance to me and Oh my god, this just brings back so many memories. But yeah, that was then, Next, I have Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Cartesian. This is actually my last perfume by him. And I do want to add one more perfume from his line. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I don't quite remember it, but I have like the little paper that I got from the sample from Neiman Marcus. I, I smell Gentle Fluidity Silver. It wasn't my cup of tea. I've heard some people describe this fragrance as like really sweet, but to me, I just don't get cupcake sweet from this fragrance. I actually get like a little bit of sweetness mixed with like freshness. And weirdly enough, like from all of my fragrances that I have here, I feel like this fragrance actually gets me the most compliments from men. So there is something in here that like men like. Without fail, almost every single time I have worn this fragrance out, like even my partner is absolutely in love with this fragrance. He doesn't know what it's called, but every time I wear it, he's always like, oh my god, you smell good. So if that counts for something, yeah, that's Gentle Fluidity Gold. I mean, I love her and it's also significantly cheaper than Baccarat. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then next I have absolutely blooming by miss dior now this bottle is actually almost done this used to be like my work scent honestly i feel like it's such a great everyday scent a lot of people used to tell me that i smell really good in the office but it wasn't like really like loud and it doesn't project so much to where i, I was like giving people headaches in the office i've tried like just the regular miss dior and then also like the dior blooming bouquet i wasn't really like a big fan of those the miss dior i loved but it gave me like a terrible headache, so that didn't work. This is the only one that works for me out of the three, so yeah. Next, I have Skin by Clean Reserve. I've only ever seen this at Sephora, that's where I got it from. And I absolutely 
love love this fragrance and i think skin is like a good description for it it actually just smells like clean skin like somebody that just took a shower but also somebody that just took a shower that like you want to cuddle with so it's like clean and fresh but also very inviting that's the best way that i can describe this fragrance to you guys and um here it's described as like a floral musk i don't get much floral but i definitely get like the musk part it has just like a little bit of sweetness but it definitely smells like somebody that just took a shower so next i have burberry her and she just looks like that i love this bottle and i also uh, i love the box that it came in i've heard people describe this as a pretty girl scent and i 100 percent get that description like the image that i get of when i smell this fragrance is somebody that's just like pretty but then also like really friendly loves her iced coffee goes to yoga or pilates sometimes just has like their life together and like their energy is just beautiful this is burberry hard to me i've heard people liken this to baccarat rouge 540 i get why somebody would say that but say that i think it smells more like the original than the x straight version to me the x straight is just like really smoky whereas like the burberry hard to me is kind of fresh um, so yeah, I don't think like they're like a replacement for each other uh, Which is why I have like both of them in my collection and the last fragrance that I have is I honestly do not know how to Pronounce this and I'm not even gonna try it because I feel like I'm gonna butcher it, but it is this right here by uh, Dolce & Gabbana and My sister absolutely absolutely hates this fragrance she thinks it smells like grapefruit, which usually grapefruit in our house usually means something smells musty. I think this this does have like a watermelon note, and I feel like maybe that's why she said that. It smells better like once you spray it than like from the bottle, because smelling it just straight from the bottle, I get why somebody thinks it would smell musty, and you don't want to put a perfume that smells musty, but... I mean, personally, I like it. I really like how it wears in the summer. I think it's a very great, like, summer and vacation scent. That was actually it for my perfume collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you made it through to the end, thank you so much for watching. Leave me any recommendations or questions that you may have about the fragrances uh, down below in the comment box. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye!